Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella said the company will continue to provide Activision games on rival platforms if the acquisition is approved. Nadella blamed Sony for defining the market and competition in the video gaming space. Call of Duty, one of the most lucrative game franchises in the world, is at the center of a legal battle. The OnePlus Fold will have a 7.8-inch screen with a 1900x to 100p FHD+, resolution with up to a 120Hz refresh rate, along with LTPO technology. The 6.3-inch cover display is also said to offer up to a 120Hz refresh rate, however, it might not possess LTPO characteristics. The device is also said to include a 32MP selfie camera on the cover display and a 20MP selfie camera on the inside screen. Twitter's new chief executive, Linda Yaccarino, is working on a slew of measures to bring back advertisers who left the platform under Elon Musk's ownership. Yaccarino, who started as CEO on June 5th, is planning to launch full-screen, sound-on-video ads. She is in talks about a broader partnership with Alphabet-owned Google that would include advertising and access to some of Twitter's data. Apple stock climbed to a record high close on Wednesday. The iPhone maker's stock rose 0.6% to end the day at $189.25. It was the second straight record high close for Apple's shares. Apple has yet to end a trading session with a stock market value above $3 trillion. The Federal Trade Commission has asked a judge to stop the proposed acquisition. It argues that it would give Microsoft, maker of the Xbox console, exclusive access to Activision games. That would leave Nintendo and Sony Group out in the cold. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella disagreed with that concern in about 45 minutes of testimony. Zoom has announced an intelligent director feature that allows everyone in a conference room to be seen up close and personal. The feature helps people in a meeting have the same opportunity to be seen and heard as everyone else. The software focuses on each participant's face, intelligently tracking them as they move and finding their best view. Baidu claims its Ernie bot has surpassed GPT 3.5, based ChatGPT and GPT for OpenAI's latest and more advanced model in Chinese language tests. The advances underscore the intense competition taking place in the area of generative AI. The spacecraft will travel just over a month and likely land on the surface of the moon around August 23. The landing site for the integrated Vikram lander and Pragyan rover will remain the same as the previous mission. Chandrayaan-1 was instrumental in confirming the presence of water and hydroxyl OH, molecules on the moon. With generative AI booming, the human value will lie in performing high-value jobs, such as engaging with customers and building relationships, said Deepak Pargankar. With generative AI booming, the human value will lie in performing high-value jobs, such as engaging with customers and building relationships. Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick is expected to testify on Wednesday morning, followed by Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella. The Federal Trade Commission has asked the judge to stop the transaction temporarily in order to allow the agency's in-house judge to decide the case. To address antitrust concerns, Microsoft has offered to license the blockbuster Call of Duty to rivals, 